Welcome to this video presentation of the Berktold Operon D820 Surgical Table Clinical In-Service. The Operon D820 Surgical Table delivers excellent value while continuing Berktold's legacy of feature-rich OR tables with exceptional functionality. The integrated X-ray cassette tunnel is 18.3 inches wide, which eliminates the need for separate X-ray tops and nearly 17 inches of motorized longitudinal slide minimizes the requirement to reverse the patient for imaging access. With maximum longitudinal displacement toward the head and a 36-inch carbon fiber extension unit attached, the imaging area is equal to 47 inches for optimum access of the C-arm. The D820 is equipped with a number of safety features designed to protect the patient and the caregiver including self-compensating floor locks, anti-collision sensors, and manual auxiliary hydraulic power. In addition to the table's full range of articulation, Operon includes a full line of compatible accessories to meet every surgical requirement. The D820 Surgical Table The D820 Surgical Table includes a detachable head section, a detachable back section, the seat section, and a detachable leg section. To remove the head section, press the lock release buttons underneath the table at the juncture of the head and back section, and pull the head section away from the table. To return the head section to the table, simply slide the attachment rails back into place until you hear the locks engage. The head section is now secured. A side rail runs across the head section for easy access to the hand pendant or for accessory clamps. To remove the back section, grasp the center of the section and press the lock release buttons. Then pull the section away from the table. The leg section is removed in the same way. Be careful to balance the weight of the leg section so it doesn't tip downward when pulled from the rail system. The side rails are U.S. standard to ensure your facility's existing accessories will fit the D820. Table pads are attached by a Velcro strip down the center of the pad. To ensure patient and caregiver safety, the D820 is equipped with self-compensating floor locks. If the OR floor surface is uneven, the table will compensate up to one quarter inch to ensure a stable table surface. The main power switch, power cord plug, and grounding post are found at the base of the table. The RS-232 port can be found to the right of the hand pendant port. The RS-232 connection allows biomedical staff to electronically diagnose issues using the D820's troubleshooting software. The hand pendant. The hand pendant for the D820 is fluid impervious for safety. For convenience, the hand pendant clips to the side rail and allows 180 degree rotation. This ensures the clip will not be damaged when the hand pendant is pulled away from the table. Operating the D820. The most commonly used articulations are indicated on the upper half of the hand control, including lifting the back section, raising and lowering the table, and lowering and lifting the leg section. The head section can manually be raised by 45 degrees or lowered by 90 degrees using the adjustment lever on the right-hand side. The Operon D820 features power split leg functionality to raise and lower the leg sections independently, but for patient safety, the abduction and adduction are handled manually. Trandellenburg is always indicated in red, with reverse Trendelenburg just to the right. The table's motorized slide capability allows the patient to be moved 16.65 inches forward or backward. Additionally, the table allows lateral tilt to the left or right by 20 degrees, elevation of the kidney area, flex or reflex, and automated beach chair positioning at the single touch of a button. Once the procedure is complete, the table will return to level position in the anatomically correct sequence when the level button is pressed. At the top of the hand pendant, you'll find the power, floor lock, and the reverse orientation buttons. 
also please note the battery strength indicator. When fully to medium charged, the light will be green. When the battery charge is low, the light will illuminate yellow. The table will continue to function normally but should be plugged in at the first convenient opportunity. When the red indicator is illuminated, the table must be plugged in to operate. The battery should last a minimum of a week on a single charge and requires 12 hours to fully recharge. Pressing any button on the hand pendant when the table is unlocked will automatically lock the table to ensure patient and caregiver safety. A green light will appear when the table is in locked mode, indicating it is safe to articulate the table. Patient Imaging The D820 is designed for superior imaging access. The radiolucent, phenolic tabletop construction improves image clarity while minimizing risk of exposure to patients and OR staff. 16.65 inches of longitudinal slide provides superior C-arm coverage without the need to reposition or reverse the patient. The space between the side panels is open, allowing the C-arm to slide all the way to the column. For lower body imaging, slide the table towards the foot Remove the head section and attach it to the leg section. Regardless of the slide position, the table will accommodate up to a 1,000-pound patient in normal orientation without tipping. The D820's unique base design and longitudinal slide ensures the table does not need to be reversed for upper body imaging. Note that reversing the table will drop the weight capacity to 500 pounds. For upper body imaging, use the hand pendant to slide the table toward the head. If additional imaging area is required, a 36 and 44 inch imaging extension is available. This extension replaces the head and back section. When preparing for imaging, place the film inside the x-ray cassette holder. The cassette holder can be introduced at the head or leg section of the table by sliding the tray onto the integrated track. By pulling back on the attachment cable knob, the cable becomes taut and allows the caregiver to slide the cassette the full length of the table. Backup Hand Control Your D820 surgical table includes two hand pendants. One is the primary hand control, and a backup hand control is mounted to the column. In the event the primary hand pendant is lost or damaged, the table can be operated using the backup pendant in conjunction with the manual hydraulic system. To activate the manual system, pull out the manual foot pump lever. This deactivates the primary hand control. A light will appear to indicate the auxiliary pendant is powered. The table is now in manual mode and is operated by hydraulics rather than power. Please note that only the functions that are available in manual mode will be backlit. To lower the back section, press and hold the back down key and manually depress the foot pump until the back section is lowered to the desired degree. To put the table into Trendelenburg, press the red key before operating the foot pump. To remove the table from the room when in the backup mode, press the floor lock key once and after three seconds the table will unlock and can be pushed out of the room. To deactivate the manual system, push the foot pump lever back into the table base. The auxiliary pendant light will go off and the table can once again be operated from the power supply. The table's software includes anti-collision intelligence. For example, if the leg section is lowered to 90 degrees and the operator attempts to lower the table simultaneously, sensors will detect a potential hazard and halt the movement. The table monitors all relevant tabletop positions. These include the leg section, the back section, the head section, height, Trendelenburg, reverse Trendelenburg, and tilt. Table articulation. The D820 can be lowered to 25 inches, measured from the floor. To lower the table, press and hold the table down button until the desired height has been achieved. The table can also be raised to 42.3 inches. Beach chair positioning is common in breast augmentations, mastoplexies, mastectomies, and shoulder applications. To use this position, press and hold the chair key. The table's back section will automatically raise by 10 degrees and the leg section drops. The table will repeat the movements until the desired articulation has been achieved. 
Additional adjustments can be made by raising the back section as high as 90 degrees to sit the patient straight up using the Trendelenburg button. At the conclusion of the procedure, press the level button and the table will run through a pre-programmed series of anatomically correct adjustments until the table is once again level. Before using the flex articulation, the table must be slid all the way to the head first. Once the table is positioned at the head, press and hold the flex key. The table will automatically begin a reverse Trendelenburg motion and the back section will drop. The table will repeat the motions until the desired amount of flex is achieved. To create better sight access for lateral positioning, the power kidney elevator can be utilized. D820 power supply. The main power switch is a white toggle at the base of the table. This is also where you can locate the plug when the table requires charging. This is a grounding post biomedical engineers use for ground checks. And this is a cord restraint. Feed the power cord through the restraint to ensure it is secured and can't be accidentally pulled out. There is also a Velcro strap attached to wrap and hold the cord. When the table battery is charging, the green battery indicator light will illuminate. The table can remain plugged in at all times with no damage to the table battery. The battery requires 12 hours to fully recharge. The table can be used while charging. The battery should last for a minimum of one week on a single charge and should accommodate 50 to 70 surgical procedures on the workload of the individual operating environment. For more information about the Operon D820 surgical table or to order replacement parts, please contact Berktold Technical Support at 1-800-243-5135, option 2, or visit us at berktold.biz.